Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another informative Bedlam video. Uh, this one, we're going to be describing how you play Complete Bedlam, which is the game we want you to play. Um, if you've watched our other video and played a few games, you've probably mastered Basic Bedlam. We're going to assume that is the case for this uh, video. This is just going to introduce the elements that make it Complete Bedlam. I'm joined by Dave. The full game, the whole thing. <laughs> the whole boxing. thing. The way it was meant to be played. We only invented Basic Bedlam because we realised it was a bit complicated to learn everything at once. No, oh, we just realised how many stupid people were in the world. <laughs> yeah. Cater for them. So if you're playing Basic Bedlam, you are stupid. Don't alienate everyone, Dave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I hate stupid people. Alrighty. So, yeah. So let's just... um. Sort of see how we go, I suppose. So, so Alright, so this is the table setup, isn't it? Yep. As you can see, it's uh, mostly the same as basic, but there's one major difference, and that is Dave and I have... Oh, I moved it off your arrows. Individualised, personalised goodies decks. Our oh, own that. decks of goodies. Yes, yes. Very good. So we've each got one of them. Now, that means that they can actually be targeted in the game by other cards that are in complete bedlam. Um, you'll see a bit of how that works. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and also, when you discard from your goodies, it goes to your own goodies discard pile here. That's right. And if you get through the entire goodies, you will reshuffle them and start again. Mm. And uh, if you steal somebody's goodie card somehow, say that I during the course of the game I steal this from Dave, and then I use it, or I, I used it at some stage in the game, then it would go back to my goodies. Yes, dish. you now own that in your own goodies deck. Yeah. Yeah. It would get reshuffled in if you ran out. That's right. It's yours. All right. So it's that... not yet. It's mine. <laughs> All right. So that's the only difference in setup. Uh, let's just go as if it's Dave's turn first. Hmm. So we've already dealt and everything, and now we're just going to start the pile. So we'll just grab a card, and oh my goodness, it's oh, blue! Who would have thought the first what card to come out would that? be a new type of card? I've never seen this in all of my days playing Basic Bedlam. Yeah, it's a event card, ladies and gentlemen. It's a dead man in a box. And uh, when it appears like this, it just happens. It just happens straight away. You can play. So what happens? What happens? Everyone inherits two cards from their goodies. Their right. goodies. It means yeah. that it's a, it's presuming that you have your own, yeah. which you do. Which you do. So there you go. <laughs> you just draw two cards from your goodies. Um, and then what happens? There's nothing left on the pile, so we just draw another card to well, start the pile. This goes to the ditch. It just happens. That's it's right. like an effect that affects everybody. You can also play them from your hand, uh, as we may see. Yes, we, we, we could do. All right, so this is the seriously short-sighted squirrel on top of the pile. I think that is too easy for Dave. I'm going to put out the neighbor's yappy dog. Oh, we were all familiar with that mad dog, <laughs> aren't we? Yes. <laughs> all right, well, I will put this on top. What oh, is this? My goodness. Oh, my God, it looks like an enemy, but it doesn't have both stats. Ah. It's only got one, and it says at the top of the card, Ordeal. This looks like it's a new thing as well. <laughs> Basically, ordeals are just like enemy cards, except they only have one stat, and they often have draw conditions. Yes, see, this one says sane or draw. So if you are if you win on nine sanity, this happens, or if you just match it on eight sanity, whatever happens also happens. So, you know, you can cost an opponent one mind point, basically. Mm. So anyway, do you want me to face that? Do you want me to deal with it? Uh, you've put that out, so no. I think I will put out this card. The big red one. Oh, and look. This, why is this card yellow? It's another new type of card. It's all happening so fast. Okay. It's like a flurry it's just of like learning. A <laughs> it's like high octane learning. Oh, it's so different. Yeah. All right. So, it's so a what's yellow, yellow mean? Then? Mm -hmm. Yellow is an enemy or ordeal that stops or closes the floodgates. It's a trump, isn't it? It yeah. trumps everything. It trumps everything. As soon as one of these bad babies, these bad boys, I was trying to say those both at the same time, <laughs> these bad babies hits the pile. <laughs> That's it. The pile uh, is locked off. The floodgates close. This, it's closed. This is pretty much 
it's pretty much guaranteed to be the thing that the player is going to have to deal with. Yes. Okay, so we get that. Mm, this one also has yellow writing on it. Ah, yes. Mm, there are some cards that have writing that is not white on the bottom, and that means it's very special, so take, take heed, mm. read it. Opponents cannot screw things up, so if you face this particular enemy, knowing that every card in the deck does a different thing, this was the only one in the deck that does this particular <laughs> thing, opponents may not screw things up. So you just skip, screw things up. Yeah, right. All right, so I don't get to screw things up for Dave. Mm. All right, so just go ahead and deal with it's it. It's on eight and seven, so let's I mean, have a I, I, I knew that yeah. when I put it out, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, here's, here's another interesting thing. Here's, an, here's a yellow ordeal. That, uh, that would have done the same thing. It would have closed the floodgates, and I would have had to deal with that. But... Uh, it just goes to show there can be yellow enemies and yellow ordeals also, mm. which do really weird things. <laughs> uh, okay, let's so let's get into the horrible brain. Huh. One of my least huh. favorite cards, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing I'll do is One this: ignore favorites. courage completely for the rest of this turn. I'm just going to ignore courage. Here we go. Here's courage. Ignored. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. This. This also ignored. <laughs> Let's ignore it. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. What else are going to do? Oh, put put out my buddy. Oh, put this back, man. What's this one do? Burn a card from target goodies. All right. Oh, hang on. I'll, I'll use that. I'll just burn one of Sam's cards. Ugh. Burn it. Boom. Take that. Oh, the Speaker of Madness, who was already burning, is now even burning even more furiously. And now my pool of potential goodies is, has been <gasps> lessened. What's this? It's the skies are clear. Everyone gets one sanity for one round. So how do we say that it's going to last one round? We'll put a token on it. There we go. Crazy eye. They look a bit different in the card version. They're little squares. All right, so that gives me one sanity. Oh, also should mention that whenever somebody plays an event like this, it gets played like an effect. You just put it out when you can um, normally play effects. It has a little arrow on the bottom. That is currently pointing towards Dave. It is which pointing towards me. That, now it's uh, even closer to me and pointing to me. Which signifies he's the one who played it, and that's important for removing counters in counting yes. down events. At the start of my next turn, the very first thing that would happen is I would remove a counter. As soon as there's no counters left, the card goes. Oh, what's this thing? I've got a weapon here. It says, OOF! Thrust your groin into an opponent's elbow, costing you both a heart point. So if I decide to do that, I damage my own pile of red points here, the heart points, and Sam's. What a what an amazingly fierce weapon. Attrition. All right, so I've played these two effects. The sanity's gone to four. My sanity's on six. I win. I get a mind point from here and two goodies from my own goodies deck. Ah uh, yes. And that's sure. it. Yeah. So that's right. how you take a turn. That's right. So just a review. Basically, everything in Complete Bedlam is you get personalized goodies decks. There are ordeal cards, which we've covered. There are yellow cards, which close the floodgates and trump anything and must be dealt with. And what am I forgetting, Dave? What am I forgetting? I don't know. Have fun. Uh, events. There are events. There are events. Which oh, can who, be played, how could you forget events? Which can be played like effects. And if oh, they, and, and they stack as well. Yeah, they stack up. You can have more than one event in play. Mm. Mm. So there you go. That's it. Complete Bedlam. Completely. Thank you for listening to our speech. Thank you. You're supposed to say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to kick the table. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, God damn. Yeah, good. good, good.